Ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? Once again, I'm your boy Neff from Neff's Tech Best. Check this out, a Lenovo ThinkStation, 4, 4 terabyte, 7200 RPM SATA hard drive. I didn't know Lenovo made hard drives. What the frick's going on here? So as we open it up, we see uh, more Lenovo information, more Lenovo information, etc. And we get into it, and lo and behold, look at that. Lenovo by Seagate. Exo 7 E8. That's just, I mean, I'm kind of surprised about this. Oh, geez, that's interesting. I haven't seen a wrapper set up like that before. Anyways, I'm kind of surprised by this because Seagate is known for not being a very particularly good hard drive by uh, people who know hard drives. So if you know hard drives, if you're a data hoarder, then you know what I'm talking about when you say Seagate isn't uh, exactly the best. Western Digital is what you want to go for, usually. But if you get right down to it, some Seagates are good, and some Western Digital drives are not good. I'm hoping this is going to be a good one. I'm going to put it through a speed test shortly here, just to see what kind of uh, speed we can bring down. I don't know exactly how reliable these things are either, but you think if it had Lenovo on, it would be reliable. So Lenovo was IBM, a Chinese uh, place bought out IBM's computers section. IBM was still doing servers, but now Lenovo is doing servers too. But anyways, Lenovo bought out IBM's PC section and they wanted to make sure that even though it was a Chinese company, that the quality was still going to be there. Look up uh, Lenovo on Wikipedia. Lenovo is not IBM. IBM is not Lenovo, but it did start out with IBM's uh, power. A lot of people say that IBM isn't as good as it used to be. For example, Apple used to use power PC chips used by IBM, created by IBM. Then they went with Intel. Now they're going with ARM. But once you get off of one and onto another, your programs won't work the same. It's unfortunate. But this is a pretty heavy hard drive. Let's take a look at the back. Not a whole lot going on back here. So yeah, let's throw it in and uh, see how good it gets. Okay, so that's interesting. The speed is definitely a lot slower than any SSD, but that's just how it goes, right? This is a s spinning disk in here. It's not uh, solid state, not solid state at all. The slowest solid state drive I have is uh, comes in at about 1,200. So this could be slower. This could be a lot slower. I can't complain too much because this is just supposed to be uh, data, information, I mean storage. Hmm. Let's take a look online and see what the reviews for this kind of hardware is. Okay, so on Newegg it gets 4 eggs out of 5. I don't like these reviews. I don't like seeing how many have uh, a 1 egg or a 1 star review. Especially for how much we paid for this. Um, these are all the negative. Extremely loud. Stores data. It's a hard drive. I'm not expecting miracles. It's, uh, it's loud. This guy actually wrote some code to make it calm down, to quiet down a little bit. Can't be a good drive to write any POS here. Must be a reason that these are cheaper than Western Digital or other drives. Huh. Interestingly enough, uh, somebody I know who works in uh, the Philippines said that he thought Seagate was better than Western Digital because Western Digital hard drives over there are cheaper. That's pretty interesting to me. Overall review, I literally just got all my com got my all my com components for this computer built, and this drive well, not only was buzzing every 12 seconds, but it wasn't even recognized. So we definitely got some uh, we definitely got some complaints about it. That's what I was expecting when it came to Seagate. Let's see. Okay, that's that's a better score. I like that uh, that score better. Let's see what these guys are complaining about. This is a review for uh, 8 terabyte. Okay, they're talking 8 terabyte. I'm only talking 4 terabyte. Dead or on arrival. That sucks. That sucks. You mentioned buyer beware. It's a scam. Purchase 8 retail drives. Received 8 drives with no warranty. Okay, now I like this. It actually gives us some information. The performance, the reliability. That's, uh, that should be good. That should uh, get you through some time, right? Yeah, so not bad apparently for the price, but uh, one thing I'm perplexed about is why Lenovo would put their name 
on Seagate. Seagate is just well known for being uh, pieces of junk. Of course, not all of them are pieces of junk, but anyone who recovers data from hard drives knows about the Seagate Rosewoods, and they have heard about the time that Seagate made a hard drive that was so fast it actually lost your data. And I don't think anyone's forgiven Seagate ever since then. I am I'm kind of perplexed about seeing uh, Seagate and Lenovo on the same brand of hard drive, but I guess if you want to uh, if, if you want cheaper, I would have expected it to have the ASUS name on it, not Lenovo, but it is what it is. So I'm going to be using these and we'll have to see in the long run how it goes. Anyways, that's it for me, folks. Nev from Nev's Tech. Bits like and subscribe if you like this stuff. Always appreciate it. And as always, take care of each other, folks.